Although biscuits can range in shape and sizes, they're basically made from the same four ingredients. You've got flour, fat, leavener, and dairy. But the hardest to make of all is the flaky biscuit. You have to get those layers of flakiness just right. Here to show us the right way to the flaky biscuit world is Erin. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to make the best flakiest biscuit you've ever had. That's a tall order. I think I can meet it. <laughs> we're gonna start with our flour. I have three cups of King Arthur all-purpose flour, and we're using specifically King Arthur flour because it has a higher protein content than most other all-purpose flours. Mm -hmm. It's close to 13%. The higher protein content is gonna give us more gluten, which is gonna create more structure in our biscuits. Okay. To this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder. We need our biscuits to have some lift, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoons of table salt. So I'm just gonna whisk it together, combine it right up. So now we're gonna move on to our fat. We are using two sticks of butter. It's unsalted butter. So there's gonna be 16 tablespoons of butter in our biscuits all day. That's fine that by me. Fabulous, right? And this is frozen butter. I put this in the freezer for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna coat this stick of butter in our flour mixture. And that's just gonna make it very easy for us to handle as we prep it. Now I'm gonna score one tablespoon's worth. I'm gonna grate the butter. So by grating the butter, this is gonna give us very uniform pieces of butter that we're gonna add. That's gonna to help to create flaky biscuits. I'm gonna stop grating at that line, which is gonna save my fingers, and we're gonna use that for later. Okay, good. As you can see, this butter is cold, so it's not melting in my hands, and also the flour is allowing me to really grate it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this butter and add it to my flour mixture. Now I'm gonna coat this butter, and I'm just making sure that each piece of butter gets coated with flour so that it stays separate. But at this point, you're not really working it in, right? I'm not working it in. Okay. Nope. I should also mention that we're using all butter here and no shortening. Shortening is very soft, and it does not contain water, um, and we want as much water in our fat as we can because that's gonna to help to create steam as the biscuits rise. Now I'm gonna add one and a quarter cup of Buttermilk. Okay. Buttermilk is great to use because it adds tang. So I'm just gonna stir this until it just comes together. It's not gonna come together as much as you think it's gonna come together, Bridget. You're gonna wanna add more buttermilk to it. That's about as far as we're gonna go. Really? Yep. That's not cohesive See, at all. It's not I mean, cohesive. just starting to come together. So we're gonna move over here. Okay. I'm just gonna flour our board. And as I mentioned, the butter is gonna help us to get flakes um, on our biscuits, but we needed something else to give them that ultra flaky. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a series of creating a lot of layers. That's okay. First, I'm gonna pat this into a seven inch square. Our butter was really chilled. Our buttermilk is really chilled. I wanna keep this as cold as possible. Okay. So I wanna touch it as little as possible because my hands are gonna warm it up. The bench scraper is the best tool to use when making biscuits because it just kinda gives you a flat edge to help shape it and then also allows you to not touch it. So I'm gonna now roll this into a nine by 12 inch rectangle. And I'm gonna do that five times, Bridget. And I don't know about you, but I lose track of where I'm at because <laughs> I get into it and I just, I'm like, was that three or was that four or was that five? Right. So I kind of created a little uh, foolproof technique for myself. It's my scoreboard. I'm gonna give it a notch each time I roll it out. Very, very I need smart. it, you might not need it. Oh no, I need I it. I do need it. So now I'm gonna roll this into a nine by 12 inch rectangle. The short end is gonna be closest to me. Okay. And again, I don't want to touch it with my hands that much. So we're at nine inches by 12 inches. You can actually see our little sheets of butter are getting yes. flatter and they're getting longer. Flatter and longer. And I'm gonna fold this like a business letter. And I really need the bench scraper for this stage. I'm just gonna kind of lift this up and flip it over. I promise it's gonna to come together, Bridget. <laughs> gonna to pat it together into a log. Really press down so that those layers stick. I'm gonna rotate it so that the short end is closest to me. So that was your first? That was my first set of folds. Now I'm gonna roll it out again. So now we're at nine by 12. Flip up. All right. And flip up. One more notch. Uh oh. Number two. Three more times. All right. Okay. Okay, so now this is the fifth and final roll, and you can see I'm having to work it a little bit harder. It is because the gluten is building up. Yeah, the butter pieces that you can see are even longer and flatter than they were at turn number two. Yeah. Starting to fight you back just yeah. a little bit. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still, it's so antithetical to biscuit dough, any kind that I've ever made. You take flour and you have butter and yeah. usually shortening. You get one roll and that's and it. And that's it. We are there. Okay, so this is the last fold. 
a lot easier to fold. So at much the end. easier. Wow. It's beautiful. It's like a book. Five. Number five. Okay. Now I know it. From here, we're going to roll this into an eight and a half inch square. It's really important that you roll evenly uh -huh. so that the layers that you are creating as you're building this, they stay in line. If I really pressed hard, the center might pop out and it just wouldn't yield the perfect biscuits. Okay, we have an eight and a half inch square. So I'm gonna transfer this to this rim baking sheet with parchment paper underneath it. I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap and we're gonna refrigerate this for 30 minutes. We want all that butter to firm back up before we bake them. Okay, Bridget, this has chilled for 30 minutes. Very firm. Nice and firm. Uh -huh. Now I'm gonna transfer it to a lightly floured cutting board. The next step is I'm gonna trim quarter inch off all the edges, but first I'm gonna flour my knife. It's really important that you have a sharp knife in its flour so that it cuts right through, because I don't wanna squish the dough as I'm pressing. I want the knife to just go right through it. So no round biscuit cutters at this point. We are actually going to be making square biscuits. I did not want to have any leftover trim, and I didn't want to re-roll the trim. It's very modern too, actually. All the cool kids are making square biscuits. So I'm just gonna keep my knife nice and floured. And now I'm gonna cut this into nine squares. So I'm just gonna go quick, sharp cuts. That cuts beautifully. Beautiful. Yeah. Almost like fudge. Yeah, it actually yep. like it's super <laughs> firm. As you can see, those are all the layers that we worked so hard for. How many layers is that? A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna transfer them to a rimmed baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper, set them up so that they're at least one inch apart from each other. Okay. Now those two tablespoons of butter that we had left over from earlier, I melted it, and I'm just gonna brush them all with a little bit more butter. Now we're gonna bake them. We're gonna put them into a 400 degree oven on the upper middle rack for 20 to 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and we're gonna rotate it halfway through. Okay. There's some scraps here. Now I know Erin said that we don't like to press it together, roll it out and stamp it into biscuits. This is how you can use this leftover dough. Make a couple little rosettes as a treat. So you just take two strips of dough, start rolling it up just like that. We'll pinch that on there so it sticks. These can be brushed with butter. You can top them with cinnamon sugar, bake them at the same time as your biscuits. Okay, Bridget, what do you think? These are Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, you can actually see the striations, all those layers in there. And I have here a biscuit that would show you what would happen if I actually did not trim off a quarter of an inch. They don't rise evenly, mm -hmm. so by cutting off that quarter of an inch, it releases all the layers to rise freely. This was the edge that you That cut was off. the edge. So we're just gonna let these cool for about 15 minutes and then they're gonna rest. If we dove into them right now, all the steam would escape and they would just eat a little drier okay. than they should. So we really want them to just rest and settle down. All right, Bridget. Cool enough? It's been 15 minutes, yes. <laughs> cool enough, but still warm. There you are. Thank you. You're welcome. My favorite part about eating these is when you open them up and there's those different layers that you can actually choose from as you open it. Look at that, sheets Isn't that beautiful? of layers. Would you like some jam? We have sure. some orange marmalade and we have some raspberry preserves. What I don't see out here is butter. I love butter, Bridget, but these really, you don't need it. I'm gonna taste this first side without marmalade. That's way past flaky. Mm -hmm. That's way past ultra flaky. Mm -hmm. That's impossibly flaky. And tender. It's so tender. Crispy on the outside yes. and it's so soft and oh. velvety on the inside. That tang, the buttermilk. Mm. Buttery. Mm -hmm. Not fatty, mm -mm. definitely buttery. And all that butter stayed in the biscuits as they baked as opposed to coming out because of that extra gluten that we had in structure. These are flaky and tender. That's impossible. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed you could do this. It's a snap. It's a snap. Erin's a miracle worker. Now for the flakiest biscuits you've ever seen, grate butter into flour and leaveners, mix in buttermilk and roll out the dough. Fold like a business letter five times, trim the chilled dough and cut into squares. Bake until brown, cool, not too long, and eat with jam or preserves. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, the tallest, most tender, buttery, flaky buttermilk biscuits. Mm. All right, yes. back to the marmalade. Mm -hmm. mm. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.